How can I tell you what I've lived through? Would you believe me? Do you know who I am? Can you see me? Can the creative arts bear witness to the unspeakable suffering of another? Can they help her restore her own humanity? Artist Hannah Rose Thomas asked these questions after her encounters with Yazidi women who escaped ISIS captivity, Rohingya women who fled oppression in Myanmar, and Nigerian women who survived Boko Haram and Fulani violence. Hannah provided materials and support to these women so each one could create a self-portrait to express their pain and their courage. She also asked if they would let her paint their portraits and share their stories. Now these portraits and stories have been brought together for the first time in a new book, Tears of Gold. Fahima and Basse both still had children in ISIS captivity. And Basse, she said she was separated from her six-year-old daughter um, and she managed to escape, but her daughter did not. And she just said that day and night, she just cannot stop imagining what Daesh are doing to, doing to her. And I think this is one of the reasons why I painted these portraits in the style of icons. So drawing from sacred painting methods, um, tradition of images of the Virgin Mary and her grief for her son who was lost. Because the women, their stories weren't about so much about what they suffered in Isis' hands. It was about grief for the loved ones that they had lost. And so I wanted, they wanted to be portrayed through that lens of grief and their paintings are also express that story of grief. And I think so much in mass media, we were hearing so much about ISIS slavery and sexual slavery and all these kind of concepts that are very other, very distant and hard to relate to. But when we hear a story of a mother who's separated from her daughter, we can enter into it, we can understand or begin to comprehend that pain that is unbearable to us to even consider. I can't even begin to comprehend what they have suffered. But I did see over the course of our week or so together, just beginnings to opening up, open up, sharing their stories together. And um, there were, as a transformation that happened, there was a lot of singing and laughter. And there's something about that journey through grief, like this process of lament into creating space for joy. I think the importance of having a space to be heard, for your grief and pain to be witnessed, doesn't take it away by any means. But I think does create space for some form of healing to happen. The exhibition is called Tears of Gold because the women chose to paint their portraits of gold tears. I'm interested in how art can be used as a powerful tool for advocacy and for giving a voice to the voiceless. These women are very much survivors with extraordinary dignity and resilience and courage that they've given them all that they've experienced.